Hey everyone, this is Bob from EpicAperture.com and this is the unboxing video for Canon Selfie CP1300. I recently got interested in this idea of a portable photo printer that I can use at home and I found this one interesting. So before I use it, I thought I'll do an unboxing. So this is my unboxing video for Canon Selfie CP1300. All right, so I got rid of the boring part there and got everything out of the box. And this is all the stuff it had in the box there. And starting from here, it comes with the standard uh, paperwork. And this is the paper, uh, I mean, uh, photo paper, which comes with it. I think there, there are five in there. We'll get it, we'll get to that. And this is the paper tray, which will be going inside the, I mean, in the uh, photo printer. And here's the ink cartridge which will also be going in the printer there. And here's the power brick and the pin printer itself. So I know you're interested in seeing the printer, so let's unwrap this thing here. So I'll get rid of all this and get my trusty knife here. And let's unwrap this photo printer. All right, so here is the Canon Selfie CP1300. And what I wanna do now is to set everything up and I wanna try uh, printing out a photo. Let's do that. So I have my five photo papers which came with it. And this is the photo tray, you may already know that. And this is the ink cartridge and we have the printer turned on and ready to go. So first of all, uh, actually we'll, we'll um, put this all together and then connect to Wi-Fi network. So to put everything together, we'll start with the paper. We'll load the paper tray here. Oh, actually you'll have to open this way here. And you can either open the whole thing or you can just slide the papers in the paper tray. I'll choose to do this. So there's an, a, a protection paper there. Let's get rid of that. And you will actually load the papers glossy side up. Make sure it's lying flat. And let's close that and you may leave this thing open like that. And for the ink tray, uh, actually the ink cartridge, you can see you, there, there's an arrow mark there which shows the direction it should be going. Actually, there, it would uh, fit only in one direction, one direction. Anyways, I'll slide that in there and it would click in place and load the paper tray to the printer push it in and it'll click in place as well. Pretty easy. I like how easy, easy it is. And uh, let's go ahead and connect the printer to the Wi-Fi. All right, to connect to your Wi-Fi network, you'll have to select the Wi-Fi settings by using these um, keys here and hit OK. So once you're in the Wi-Fi settings again, you'll have to select the connection method. When you hit OK, it'll give you uh, the option for selecting your Wi-Fi network. Hit via Wi-Fi network again and search for, uh, select search for an access point. So that would search all the Wi-Fi network available. And once you select your Wi-Fi network, enter the password for your network. And to enter the password, you'll have to hit menu and that'll open up the keypad there. All right, so now that we have connected our Canon Selfie CP1300 to our home Wi-Fi network, and now what I'm gonna do is to try to print a, uh, a photo from my iPhone uh, to the printer. Actually, for iPhones, you can use AirDrop uh, without using any other apps, but I'm gonna be using the Canon print, uh, the Canon app for photo printing. Um, so you'll have to download it from uh, Apple Store, or if you're using an Android phone, you have to um, download it from Google Play. All right, so my phone has already detected my Canon print since it is connected to my home. Uh, Wi-Fi network. So if you want to add, uh, you can use the icon on top left corner here. Uh, tap that and it'll show all the list of uh, printers you have. So currently, um, I have Canon Selfie CP1300 as the only Canon printer. So to print a photo, you have to tap photo print. You might have to give access to it. So I'll go ahead and select a photo. All right, so this is the photo I'm going to select uh, to be printed. Actually, this is uh, a photo I recently uploaded to my Instagram account. If you're interested in my uh, Instagram account, you can check check out my Instagram account at Epic Aperture. 
And um, if you are interested in my content, you can follow me there at Epic Aperture and Instagram. All right, so once you select, hit select here and hit next. All right, now you can edit the image. And on this screen, it says edit image, but for some reason, it is giving me this error message. It says image editing function is not available for the selected printer for me. All right, so I leave it like that. And you also have um, an option to add border. So I'll just leave it borderless and I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna leave it as one copy and I'll go print it. So print, it, print with following printer for the first time, hit okay and let's wait and see. So now it says busy on the uh, printer. Actually, the photo is pretty darn good. Wow, I'm really impressed with the quality here. Actually, if you can see that, that is really nice. And as you can see, there are two dotted lines here where you can snap off and you'll have a perfect four by six photo, I guess. Yeah, and I really like the quality. I'll be using this uh, printer for a while and I'll come up with a review video so make sure you look out for that if you're here for the first time make sure you subscribe and also you can follow me on my instagram uh, account at epic aperture and if you like the content you make sure you follow me there as well and other than that make sure you subscribe leave a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see